Asante sana, asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Leo Acheni wambie ukweli maze, a secret to this show that uh, we have never shared with you. This show exists because there has never been a dull moment in Kenya. I can't even wait to get to the video of uh, Governor Sakaja advising thieves. Meyona. You have to pick out the young Eh, na mangeta. Na 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 mkishiko mzinipigie. Tutakuwa ni noma. So much to unpack there but first uh, fish farmers in Kisumu are decrying losses because fish in Lake Victoria are de uh, are dying of suffocation. I find this story very confusing because my basic understanding of fishing is exactly what the farmers uh, the fish farmers are complaining about killing fish by denying it oxygen. Isn't that the reason samaki utolewa komaji? So basically the farmers don't want the fish to die by themselves. They want to take responsibility. Into the latest version ya ile meme ya my youth walipea mwizi energy drink ndio apate nguvu wampige tena. Uh, in other news, uh, uh, during the opening of a new branch, the Quiver Lounge made headlines after videos of a priest blessing the, the new premises emerged. Kitumeni sumpua na yo video ni, what was the prayer item on this one? More customers? More converts? <laughs> I'm asking this in good faith and as a confused person because the people who are doing this, uh, your blessing, your prayers, come from the same team as they that hit us with this one. Kwa yo blessing ya kuiva, DJ ange make mistake ya kuplay ngoma. Anyway, don't get me wrong. Sijasema kuna ubaya kubariki maji kabla watu wakunywe. <laughs> however, if you look, uh, however way you look at it, mchungaji was still in the service to the most high. Now, speaking of the most high, <laughs> this week Twitter verified their account at Jesus Christ. Social media val validation just went to a whole new level. Twitter must have realized that many people on the platform have been following the wrong Jesus. Wakase mafuate ni uyu. Anyway, to more good news, uh, petrol prices have dropped by one shilling again. And pundits now, how many pundits, now claim that they can predict that if this trend continues, the Kenya Kwanzaa government is going to fulfill their promise of reducing the cost of living by 2029, where fuel will have dropped by 93, to 93 shillings per liter. <laughs> if this trend continues uh, dropping by one shilling uh, per month, by the year 2036, one liter of petrol will now be going for the one shilling per liter. <laughs> and I'm sure people will still be complaining them. Ah, it's a recovery, Tatu Mariza. Mafuta ijakuwa bure bado. And speaking of Kenyans and complaints, uh, following the rise in cases of insecurity in Nairobi and other urban centers, the interior CS uh, Kithure Kendiki came out to issue a warning to the thugs. But instead of Kenyans focusing on his strong message, they decided to focus on his soft voice. These marauding guns of few citizens have dared the government of the Republic of Kenya. And the message they have been trying to send has reached us. We have heard them. We are coming for you effective immediately. CS Alisema Pua Sana. We have heard you and we are coming for you. <laughs> Haters wana sema wezi wana share hiyo press conference among his teacher that come a poem. <laughs> Atiwe budo umesikio spoken wadi ya kindiki. <laughs> Kwani wezi wana faa kuongele shuaji? 
crimes of it. Hata kama ni kunoma watu kwa kudimanga, mtupatie time. Tuladin la yoma neno. Si mnitupatia kazi. Eh, odo. Mnitupatia kazi. Si tawashikilia. Lakini hiyo ya kupiga watu nyongo lo na nini? Eh, na mangeta. Na 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 mkishikwa msinipigie. Tutakuwa ni noma. Sawa sawa. Mwaje kuniangusha. Now my highlight uh, kwa hiyo clip was the response after Governor Sakaja aliambia mavijana wakishikwa wasimkol. Na na mkishikwa msinipigie. Tutakuwa ni noma. Sawa sawa. Mwaje kuniangusha. That is probably the most bold statement nimesikia lately. What do you mean amtashikwa? <laughs> but then again, watamkolaje na crime ikifika hiyo level hata yeye atakuwa na simu. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, back to CS Kindiki. I do not agree with the hitter's perspective that CS Kindiki's voice does not sound scary enough. Remember ile experience, in fact, remember experience ya CS Kindiki ya kutuliza ngori ilianzia bombers. Wacha! 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 But will that work on the security situation? Unapata msia na kipigwa ngeto, unambia, wacha! Wacha! <laughs> Now, a friend of mine actually sent me this video of a senior police officer offering a solution to the situation. Come on, you to see this is me. You assert that person as you wait for the police. Will you? Come on, bad and you to amefanya kitendo to nasema hot person. Amedunga mutu. Bad of the incident is still fresh. Huyo mutu awawe. That is the proper interpretation of the law. Now, this clip has received mixed reactions, and that is the subject of our episode. One of our guests is making a name for himself on the interwebs as the truth watchdog by giving advice to Kenyans on how to stay vigilant. I love to go to the house, I love to go to the house, I love to go to the house, I love to go to the Sijui ni nini ime go mad bana. Kuibiwa kuibiana imekuwa ni kitu common sana which is now being normalized. But now the abnormally is also coming up. Wase sasa wanachinja wase wana kuchinja in day broad daylight. Unakata kwa toma kisu na pigo marisasi mchana, tao, CBD, city center. Yani hee. Our other guest is George Musamali, a friend of the show and a former GSU officer, now a security consultant, who some of you may know for this. The GSU is part, is a formation in the police. Mm -hmm. And uh, the GSU is actually the tactical wing of the police. Yes. So when you get into the GSU, there's a contract between you and the government and the police. Yes. That you're only supposed to serve in the GSU for six years. Six years. Six only. years. Why yes. do they do that? Uh -huh. From the age of 18, wakatu meandikuwa, mili andikuwa nikiwa na meka kumina nane to six years. Utakuwa umefika miaka ngapi? 24. 24. Yes. 24, this is the age where now you start thinking rationally. Unasema sasa nataka kusettle down, nataka kuowa bibi, uh -huh. you want to become a parent. Mutu kama huyo ukimtuma kwa riot, hata fanya kazi. Ukimpeleka for the front line, hata fanya kazi. We need young men who don't think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Director, di Director Yetu Jackson anasema na umenona from that clip. <laughs> Aya, we have the truth watchdog and George Musamali on the other end of this short commercial break. Tuchambwe maneno kwa undani. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Conversation yet we are on your security. Everyone is talking about that, uh, the rise of insecurity in the country. Our two guests, uh, one of them is a self-made uh, security consultant, and it was Mr. McLeod, Nam Nam Juakama, the truth watchdog, is in the house. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Asante sana, alafu guest wetu wapili, uh, nimesema is a friend of the show, third time appearing, na is always peer good vibes, uh, former GSU officer, now a security consultant, George Musamali is in the house. <laughs> <coughs> sawa, sawa, karibu sana. Uh, Ntanza na wewe, uh, Mr. McLeod, uh, I think ni poa sana kuenda straight to the point ume sensitize wasi sana juu ya story ya ngeta ume kuongelea pande zote mbili kuongelea saidi ya makarao na kuongelea saidi ya mathegi what inspired you because aunikali victim wa ngeta tulikiongea na 
tukiongea tukiongea na audience wetu eh, before walikuwa nasema ati sijui kuna vile wewe kambao kwa mkono wanafinya nayo mtu shingo nimeangalia shingo yako sio ni spesi ambao uh, nimezaliwa kwa ngeta wacha tuseme hivyo because uh, unajua neba wako ni mwizi ukiwa mtu mdogo alafu na kama una grow mnaanza mpaka kuibana yeka amezeeka sawa ndo unakuwa mtu wa mkono okay so mtu wa mkono literally <laughs> yeah yes, so yeah. Uh, but at the same time unajua kuna zile vitu zenye unafika mahali hata kama binadamu unaona hii mazee pale imefika sasa hii ni mbaya unakosea then uh, pia kulikuwa na rende flani tulikuwa naitaka kitambo sana 42 brothers then your rende pia nilikamu nikakuwa driver wa mathegi juu ulikuwa sasa ukitaka kushika gun ndio upate hiyo chance ya kushika ama hata kuona hiyo gun lazima uanze uko chini uwezi uwezi uwa mse auwezi auwezi enda kuiba solo lazima ukuwe na wazae lakini si eti ni wazae ma yuto big kutushinda sababu so, by then ilikuwa ga, i think i was 12 years nikianza sasa mradi tulikuwa naenda kuiba pale fulani hapo hivyo Adam Sakedo kifita ukipik inaitwa jamu jamu iko hapo tu nyuma kiasi so hizo ndio base tulikuwa naanziaga but me ilikuwa tu driver then uh, ika grow nikajua wizi like nobody's business because at the end of the day ulikuwa kipatiwa sema so mbili ilikuwa the mob nda watch movie nda kula ngumu uh, kulikuwa na McDonald's tungine hapo alafu naweza kula pia chama ya 10 bob na watch <laughs> yani hiyo 200 ilikuwa the mob ilikuwa the mob so ilifika place yenye nilikuwa na chiki sasa wase wanaanza kuondolewa unaona moja moja by then kulikuwa gana ma ilikuwa gana itwa flying squad ama ilikuwa gana walikuwa na kuja na utu tu Volkswagen to hello. Hapo kwanza kitu gari imepita pa 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 pa. Vijana kichungi. Eh hapo mimi nikaponea siku moja. Walikuwa na shoot msee akiwa in the act ama bora tu unakaa. Asa huko anga na oni. Walikuwa sha, yani before I come, washa survey hiyo <coughs> area. Wanajua mko ngapi? Mna kamigi saa ngapi? Na wana kama wanaoletea bait. Bait ilikuwa kama demo. Unajua bait uh, demo kibeba tu kibeti hivyo na pima. Unajua hii ni coffee kofi demo apiga nduru by the time anapiga nduru simu na kibeti imeondokea unaona so hey, nimo kwa mnaibia madem na kofi but si ile wanapenda <laughs> hmm. a kofi moja bro si ile ya uchungu yani ile <laughs> inapimwa kuna yote kuna kuna mwanamke hiyo ufungui mkono lakini <laughs> 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 kuna mwanaume au na mchapa masikio anasikia mastaa kuna ka sauti yoko anatoka ako manomo wanaropoka kila kitu mpaka jina yake haine yenye joy <laughs> but ilifika two place nikaanza kuona venye sawa naangushwa then kajua two next ni mimi joa sio alikuwa anakuja tuseme umelipuliwa moja kama ambavyo hivi alafu ana kama anasiki by the way amekugonga kuna kitu naweza do unaongeza wazi ngine ka ine na bado mlikuwa mnaona hizo na bado unarudi miradi tena sasa si pesa unajua pesa kwa nakashatani flani nakwambia kaniaje bro leo tu Hawezi dead. Kao dead jana leo hizi. So unasikia tu ah acha nijaribu tena. But ilifika two place I think by 14 kimaliza uh, class 8. Ndio boda ni chujanga ali kama kajua mimi niko na mathegi. Kwanza akaenda nikaiko kwa gazeti. Ati wanted. Mwanza na sio mimi nilikuwa natafuta hiyo time. Ni mzee mwingine alikuwa anaitwa Ibra. Eh, kuangalia kwa gazeti na mbona ni wewe. Kuna position mbili za kuwepo ukiwa thegi. Either uende ndonyo ama uende moya. Ndonyo ni wapi? Ndonyo ni Goreti. Okay, so hizo places kuna kwa gana place unakuja tu unajifanya wewe ni ni boy boy unataka job kama kuchunga ngombe ama kuchunga nini field ya mchele. Huko hivyo utafutwagi. Lakini ungekuwa hapa mjini, hasa walikuwa na kusmoke hata ujificha wapi? Hata uende area code gani unajulikana ati huko ujulikani wewe ni msimpoa <coughs> watakupata huko. Unapata na unapigwa. Si eti yo, hakuna kuwekwa hata yote. Bas. George I shared with you a video ya senior police officer akisema the solution ya ku solve crime hizo uh, tuseme kama ngeta nini ni, ku, ni kupiga watu risasi but as a security consultant you would hold a different opinion kama unasikia <coughs> uh, to watch dog akisema ati alikuwa anaona mtu anapigwa risasi na bado kesho ataenda mradi is that really a solution ako kuli uh, ni lazima tuangalie historia where did we start Unajua hizo stories extrajudicial killings people are talking about them lakini hawajui historia hii mambo yalianza wapi. Uh-huh. Na hii mambo ilianza kitambo 76. Kulikuwa na msel toka Uganda anaitwa Patrick Walimbwa. Uganda had a special force 
or a special unit before Kenya. So when Amin was toppled, Patrick Walimbwa alikuwa kwa ile ilikuwa inaitwa SRB, State Research Bureau, kule. Ndio kama SSU yetu. Akavuka Kenya na bunduki zake na kikosi chake. Walianza kuangaisha watu from Busia to Nairobi. That time. Na I remember nikiwa bado kijana mdogo <coughs> waliua a forester pale inaitwa Tarbo in Eldoret. Na th by the time police wana assemble waende kule wamefika Eldoret wameua muindi anaitwa Sagu. So ka, in that process mmoja wao alipigwa risasi na akauliza wale makarao mnyimbe nipiga mimi mmepata Patrick. Wakauliza Patrick nani? Akawaambia anaitwa Patrick Walimbwa. Now when they did their research or realize kwamba huyu ni hatari haezi patikana. So Rift Valley PPO had to assemble police from all stations kuja Eldoret to kuinda Patrick Walimbwa. One man. One man. Na wakati ndo nilisikia bunduki inaitwa <coughs> Scorpion made in Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. Kumara ya kwanza hata wa Kenya walikuwa ja, polisi wa Kenya walikuwa natembeanga na zile zambao wakati huo. How do you face such a person? Okay. Alikuja akauzwa na akauzwa na demo hapa Kangemi, akauzwa Patrick Show. Ndio Patrick Show akamua. That is the history of extrajudicial killings in Kenya. Ikaja mjamaa anaitwa Wakinyonga akapigwa. Kenyata mwenyewe Kenyata 1 alitangaza akasema mwizi wa benki wakati huo kina kina yeye aliandika my life in crime kina kiria miti yeah. walikuwa wamezidi akasema mwizi wa benki akipatikana apigwe risasi waona tukavuka mimi nikaandikwa kwa kikosi 1990 tukiwa pale Ruaraka asubuhi tunapata barua imeandikwa imetupwa kwa gate nasemekana kuna maafisa wanne wa hame Nairobi nani wameandika washosho wanugu na rasta wamewapea warning warning wa hame <laughs> It was that serious. Yeah. Now katika ile mambo ya kujipanga panga hii tutakabiliana na jamaa vipi? Squad kaya ya jamaa ilipigiwa mlango kubwa. Squad kaya wale jamaa walikuwa wametajwa wanne, mmoja alikubali kwenda. Siwezi taja jina lake, alisema yeah. ah hii Nairobi kama ni hivi wacha mimi nihame. Uh -huh. Aha. Aka, the other three, as we speak they are nursing gunshot wounds. Gari ilipigwa risasi <coughs> pale mlango kubwa. Ndiyekaonekana hapana. The thugs want makarao wahamishwe. Wa, GSU hata si makarao wa kawaida. Rec company, in fact. Na vile hawa kuhamishwa, waka wapigi ya abu. Wali wapigi ya mlango kubwa. Ambush. Uh -huh. Wali survive. Ndiyo ikatangazo, ikasemekana now, dead or alive, tunataka rasta, wanugu, na washosho. Hapu ndi tukaanzisha sasa flying squad. Na tu kuanzisha na makarao wa kawaida, tulitoa watu rec company kuwinda wale wasili. And I remember sometimes nikiwa training nikenda magadi. Tukiwa mahali naitwa Kiseria tuko mahali tunajivinjari tuna haja mwa kaingia. Sisi wenyewe tulitoroka. You admit that mlitoka mbio. Tulitoka mbio. Tulitokea mlango wa nyuma tukaenda. Because sasa wametupata sisi tuko tu. Na wakituangalia macho ilipoonana na hivi tukajua wamegundua sisi ni nani. Na mnajuana mnajuana. <coughs> Kiangalia tu unajua hawa. Na sisi tulipoona tukajua si ndio huyu ule wanted. Wakati walipiga kona sisi pia tukapiga kona. Hatungekubali okay. hiyo maneno. It was that serious. <coughs> so when we talk about extrajudicial killing lazima tuipatie tuiangalie in three angles. One kuna use. Manake kama vile huyu anasema hawa vijana haungeweza kuwakamata. Wanugu hangeweza kukamatika. Washosho hangeweza kukamatika. So we need to use a special force to deal with that. Number two, misuse. Ambayo ndo tunazungumzia sasa. Alafu kuna ile abuse. Wale jamao wakifika pale, sasa inakuwa sasa wao, they become a law unto themselves. They do what they want. Ndi unasikewe ya nakuambia, walikuwa kikuja, hawakupei nafasi. Unapigwa, umelala chini, umekua disarmed, lakini they still come and eliminate you. Iyo ndi nakuwe nakuwe na lete shida sasa. Kwa hivyo, hii sheria it's there, it's, it's governed. Because the law is very clear. What we call uh, kwa sheria, criminal procedure code, CPC, unambua justifiable instances of using a firearm. Moja ni gani? Ni lazima Lakini uwelewe. Lakini wezi hawana justifiable use Wezi of... hawana justifiable. Manake ya kikupata, basi ya shakupata. <coughs> Uki resist, ndiyo hivu, unasikia kuna kofi marambili. Yes. Mimi nikipewa hiyo moja peke yake <laughs> hata hiyo ndogo. <laughs> <laughs> you are just being polite. But 
<laughs> but um, what's the feeling ya number one, na ndeza penda kujua feeling ya unatafutuwa na polisi uh, na wako trained na wewe hauko trained but utamanuva but most importantly before utujibu hiyo right <coughs> um, in uh, kwa 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 vile umeamua sasa una, we unajua si inside out sengine hata kuna video ni kwa naona un, umepiga picha unasema huyu ni mwizi huyu ni mwizi na huyu ni mwizi unaweza wa map out right uh, mm. by kuaribu trades za business aren't you a target uh, if I'm only one soul that is a target and then we save 40 million Kenyans come and shoot me bro how does it feel to wake up in the morning afraid of your life that you might not go back to your wife? Okay. So where is the fear? Is it the fear in this one soul or the fear of the nation? We have to see the bigger picture here. Hakuna freedom will come free. You have to pay a price. And if I'm that price, then I'm serving my plate. Okay? Because uh, I want to come out of my house and I want to know that my child knows my dad is going to work. And he will come back. Nata kam na simu, nata kuja na makzameno amakisu. So that is what we have to see. Like, how many Kenyans will we sacrifice in the name of police watafanya kazi? Okay. Na sisi tunangalia wenye wanaibiwa, mwenye wanaibiana, kuna mtu anajua kwa ke. Tusidanganye, anajua familia hake. Ofisa wana zunguka huko kitafuta huu msee. Wasa, hey, huu msee, unajua ukitaka huko. Kama utaki huu msee kufanya mbaya. Kwa beshti ya muizi, bro. Hakuna siku hile muizi ya taikuwa beshti yako. Yo usiai danganyo. Hata hiri ofisa kuitisha miambili ya kuhui. Nona. Uja mata kuitisha miambili na kuhue. <coughs> so, what is costly? Okay. Going the way of the police, ama going the way of the thieves. Good point. Na umesema ati mtu anarudi home na Max Zameno. Just clarify. Yes. Kuna wezi wana... <laughs> Kuna wezi wanaibana meno. Hata like, nikona, unona hii? Like, hauna sila ingine, hauna kisu, hauna nini, ya hii. As in. <laughs> unona kama hii. Yeah. Hii ili ya pengedho. Nilikuwa gana kale katululuka. Kalikuwa gana ituwa gasagem. Kama muna kakumbuka. Mm -hmm. So hile nye, unajua ulikuwa na chatingiza zingine ukisha shikanisha haka kasimu. Hato ulikuwa na chat kama wangali. Juna jezo buttons pali zote ziko. Na kila button niko na sound statue. Kama abuku. Alafu hapa ni du. <laughs> so, you know, chaza chaza but then, uh, nikiwa together hapo kwa roundabout. Hii jamaa kama ka grab. Ku grab unajua sasa zile kwa kwa kasimu hivi nikaachilia, kakaanguka chini. Kwa nguka chini jamaa kajam. Manzana kwambia ni umaka dogi. Unaona? Huyu ali decide kama ataenda na hiyo simu na wewe hutai chat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it justified for someone to steal because they don't have food? Ama is that a factor in a kwa considered kwa security? Kwa kweli, in law it's not considered. The end does not justify the means. Sure. Kwa hivyo kama we ni mwalifu, wewe ni mwalifu. Na ukipatikana, watu waneza diya lawe kisheria, na saizi wa Kenya malo umefika ile feeling wako nayo, ni mob injustice. Nothing is justifiable. Manake, si mimi na amuka, naenda na toka inje, naenda na hassle, na tafutia mtoto wangu. Wewe umeketi huko, umekula jaba, unaniongojea. <laughs> mimi ni kuje, ukisema joo ndi ule. Yeah? Uniangukie. I, I mean, I'm talking about things that I've seen. I can yeah. talk about people that have lost their lives. Kopro Turunya, alipigwe risasi hapa town. Yeah? Kuna musime. Alipigwa risasi yapa El Salasi yapa. People, wale ya ni mse metoka job, metoka subui, minasama ah, wameenda job. Jioni hawarudi. Ile kitu mnakuja tukua na somewanga signal. So and so. Circumstances, hizi. Seronei, he was shot six times. Hapa buru. Welewa. Kwa hivyo hakuna jinsi hili tuneza sema crime can be justified. In whatever sense. Na ndi kwa sababu kule, uh, kule, kule New York, 1984, mea alisema akona broken window policy. Kwamba mtoto akivunja glass kwa nyumba ama mevunja kio, ule ni mwalifu, deal na ee. Nafikiri mefika wakati hapa Kenya vile arasema, tukue na broken window policy. 
ya kwamba hatuwezi kubali uhalifu kwa hivyo yeah. vyote vile. Maze Aichi conversation inaendelea sana. Unaweza follow the truth watchdog on Twitter uh, on TikTok. He's very vocal on social media ku ex ku explain hizo vitu zote. And uh, George Musamali, uh, you can follow him on Twitter. He's also very vocal and in fact across all the social media platforms. We cannot exhaust all this information but you can reach out to them through those platforms. Truth Watchdog pale TikTok, you are big on TikTok. Uh, and I believe is a platform zingine. Msamali George uh, on nini <coughs> on uh, Twitter pia sana sana na all the other platforms. Wameweza si ndio? Wapi makofi yao? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.